Okay, so we've got our driver. So mileage on the clock is what, 20287, okay? I've just put 60 quid's worth of, 60 quid's worth of fuel in it. Should we just go? Should we just go without? No, we need someone to pay for the fuel, don't we? Okay. See you in a while. Okay, so we are on then, gonna go on the move. So we've spent a couple of days here in Whitby. Uh, I've just tidied out the bus. I have to say, uh, for those of you thinking about doing this, there's a lot of moving from front to back. Imagine this, every time you wanna put the bed up, everything in the back there has to be put into the front. Then every time you, um, you, you, you wanna reverse it, everything also gets shifted back to the back. But you get used to it and it's not so bad. So I've just done the washing up. And we're ready to go. So two days here at Whitby, it was lovely. Really nice. Uh, let me show you our view. So this is a really nice beach down here. And then a plan for today is to go and find some bloke sitting down. <laughs> I'll show you a photograph if we find him. Then we've got to pick up a gas bottle on the way. Shush. So good morning, we are just over the border into Scotland uh, at a place called Newcastleton, which is probably the prettiest campsite I've ever stayed in. There's my bus, there's our bus, there's Lou. What are you doing Lou? Talking to children. 
No. Post my sadness on Chaz dying. Oh, posting sadness about Chaz and Dave. Chaz dying. How sad. Rabbit, rabbit. Um, and no pleasing you. <laughs> um, so, that's not something to laugh about, is it? Uh, so, uh, we, we got up, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and we're just making a cup of tea to take with us, and we're on our way, and we're going to go to uh, Falkirk first, and we're going to see the Kelpies, which is what the original plan was, so hopefully we'll get that far. And then I think we're going to go um, a little bit further north, but we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. All right, so bus living, living the dream. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. See you in a while. Where are the Kelpies? There they are, yeah. they're there. Hello, hello, we hello. made it. This is Lou, say hello Hi. Lou. <laughs> so look, we made it to the Kelpies. This Yay. was our destination. This is where we were trying to head. Okay. This is where we, we managed to get. Let me turn the camera around. Hold on one moment. So this is them. This is, we've traveled all of this way. Spent over 200 quid worth of fuel to get this far. But they're quite spectacular, I have to say. It's hard to comprehend how big these things actually are until we're next to them. Fantastic. And the sun's shining as well. So. We're going to have a look around, um, and then we're going to go and have some lunch, and then we're going to get on our way go further north. Yes! Check out the bus. We are on the edge of Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond, I'm told. Oh, how beautiful is this? Look at that. Oh, stunning. Look at it. There's a campsite. A campsite two miles down the road, and we're really hoping they've got space. Beautiful. Okay, so we've arrived at Loch Lomond, 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 whatever it is. Check out that bitch. Lola's got to be on a lead, most disgruntled. But, you know, it's a bit chilly with the wind blowing in and we're deciding whether or not to go in now. I think we might try it just to see what it's like. Yuki deck! Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Well, good afternoon. Uh, what is it? It's. Oh, I lose track of days here. Monday today. Um, Monday? Yes, it is Monday today. Monday afternoon. Just been on a beautiful walk with a dog up. Can you see up that mountain behind us? Well, it's probably not a mountain. Looks like a mountain to me. 
and uh, we just sat out here, had a hot chocolate, some Scottish, Scottish shortbread. Lovely, lovely. And look, we put the awning up. Camper living, where are you? Look, look at that. Camper living to the extreme, fantastic that is. And it's great because it gives you a bit more space inside the bus that as well. Uh, this is my view. Let me show you my view. This is where I'm sat. And we're just thinking about, are we going to stay in? We've got beans on toast, that's all we've got. Is that enough for tea? It's enough for me. It's whether or not Lou's happy with it. I think she's coming around. Safe driving out, won't it? So, uh, yeah, and we're wondering what to do tomorrow, whether to go further north tomorrow or not. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. That's what I really want to do. I'll catch up with you soon. I'll let you know where we're going. Ah, so I'm just out for an evening walk with my dog around the lock and um, yeah I reckon we're gonna go north tomorrow we're gonna go further in further into further into the heartlands uh, so hopefully tomorrow we'll be from somewhere further up and another blooming thousand pounds worth of petrol good stuff Absolutely beautiful here. We've had such a lovely relaxing day today. Dog walking and reading a book. Lovely. So see you in a while. Okay, so we just got a quick leg switch and uh, quick dog wee. This makes you realise nothing is unbreakable. No! What a shame! Gutted for him. Gutted for him. Never mind. Let's carry on. Northwards. Check this out for a cup of tea stop then. Look at our view. Ah, oh, this is the beauty of owning a camper. If you can stop anywhere. And have a cup of tea and some lunch. Lola, come here. Okay, so we're just heading towards Glencoe. What, we're a few miles away? A few miles to go. And that's where we're going to stay uh, tonight. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see. The weather is miserable, as you can see. But it's Scotland, isn't it? So. Just as well we're not there. <laughs> Look at those people. Look at those people. Look at those fools walking in the rain. Why? Why? Okay, so we, we drove straight through Glencoe and the drive was so beautiful that we just carried on going and it looked a bit quiet-ish, really. Uh, now that we come up, we just see a little bit of a ridge. Just about there, so that's how it was. And we're actually staying in uh, Fort William now. We drove all the way to Fort William in the end. Fantastic. Ben Nevis, and we're going to climb it. Actually, we're not going to climb it. We're going to climb uh, as far as that. <laughs> but we're on it. Superb. Look at it. It is very, very windy, and it's pissing down right west from this bit. Ah, it? oh, but it's wonderful. Wonderful. Right. See you soon. Good morning, good morning. You notice I'm growing a beard. I've been growing a beard since we went away. Much to my wife's disgust. Very, very unhappy with it. But, you know, you know. So we're currently in Fort William and um, I'm just looking at the view. Let me show you the view. Look at that. It's a bit miserable today, a bit wet and miserable. But it's still fantastic. Um, we were, we were, 
Where are you? We were up there somewhere yesterday and we thought it was Ben Nevis, but I don't think it is. I think Ben Nevis is further over that way. Um, but you can't see you can't see the top of these mountains now because of the because of the clouds are in. Um, yeah, and today we've got to be home by Friday, um, so we've really got to turn around today. But we don't want to, <laughs> so we're going to head north for, a, or we're going to go inland a little bit now for a, um, just for a couple of hours. So we, we'll keep driving for a couple more hours, and then we're going to stop and um, stop and have some lunch. And then I think we're going to have to turn around, gutted. But it's been fantastic. And even driving is just, oh, it's brilliant. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. I might pack in my job and just go and live in my camper. I reckon that wouldn't be a bad idea. Anyways, anyways, uh, I'm still smiling uh, and it's fabulous. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, hello, hello. So we're as far north as we're gonna go. And this is, uh, dogs on the lead, because we've just seen a pheasant that should disappear if uh, she sees one herself. Um, so this is as far north as we're gonna go. And oh, this is proper spot. Superb. So now we're going to turn around and go back, go back downhill all the way back to south. But we're going to stop for lunch somewhere first. Okay? Okay, see you in a while. So this is our last day in Scotland and we've just stayed in this place. Where is it? Do you know what it's called? No. Uh, the Woods Caravan Car Park, but I don't know where it is. I think we're around about 30 miles or so from Glasgow, north way, north-ish. Nice view, look. So this is our view out of the window. See mountains over there. We're just having breakfast. Close this morning, say hello, Hunt. Hello. And um, what we're going to do, like I say, last day in Scotland, we're going to drive down to a place called Beeth, which is just south of Glasgow, and see one of, one of my aunts. And then we're going to head, head south and see if we can get to the Lake District today. Okay, that's our plan. So I'll catch up with you later. Oh, so this is the last night of our holiday and our bus is in uh, Kendall. We're in Kendall in the Lake District on the way home. So this is our campsite we're in. Very nice. Cost a fortune to stay in this one though, I have to say. The river down there. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a look around Kendall and then I think we're going to head home. Oh, how sad Lola. Sad. Never mind, it'll be nice to see the cats. Check out the beard. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna have to go when we go back, otherwise I might be in for a for a divorce. Uh, so this is our final stop. We just had lunch in the van for the last time. Well not for the last time, for the last time on this trip. Uh, we've got about 120 miles or so to drive home. So we're going to go back, uh, but it's been fantastic, the van's been awesome, van living, yeah, I love it, loving it, or loved it anyway, so uh, we're just going to go home and then we're going <laughs> to, then we're going to look and see how much fuel we spent, yeah, it's going to be like that, it is, it is, so we'll find out. <laughs>
We'll find out and I'll tell you in a minute. All right, see you in a while. Uh, well, good evening, good evening. We're home, we're back. I've been back for a day actually, and I've calculated the costs, but don't let this put you off. If you ever get an opportunity to do something like this, do it, absolutely brilliant. Loved every minute of it. Didn't want to come home, to be fair, uh, but I have to, because it's work tomorrow. Um, so, uh, what did we do then? We did uh, 1,364 miles in total. That's a lot of miles, isn't it? At 50 to 60 mile an hour, depending on the wind. Uh, depending on what you were following. Uh, the bus was fantastic, didn't miss a beat uh, all of the way. I put about uh, a litre and a half of oil in it, I reckon, in that time as well. So I stopped a couple of times and checked it and topped it up. And uh, yeah, 1,364 miles and spent um, £429 on petrol. 429 quid on petrol. Oh, uh, So calculated this out and the the robbing bastards on the motorway were charging around about one pound fifty a litre uh, and so at that cost it's uh, 21.4 miles per gallon uh, but we didn't always pay that cost sometimes down to 135 a litre or thereabouts and at that cost it's doing 19.3 uh, miles per gallon so I reckon an average around about 20 miles per gallon or so so yeah 20 miles per gallon that's one of the one of the beauties of owning an old bus, isn't it? But yeah, it's, you've just got to do it, haven't you, I guess? Now, I don't know whether or not I could make it more economical. I haven't really looked at how the engine's running, but it didn't miss a beat, and it, and it ran sweet, which is great. Um, so there, yeah, we're home. We're home. Garage is a mess. Uh, you can, oh, I'm building a cage at the minute, guinea pig cage at the minute. Um, but, yeah... So, I reckon this is probably the last bus video, to be fair, because we did this with a bike, didn't we? We built it, and then we rode it. We had a bus, you know, we've built it, and we've driven it. And all of the bits I've got left to do to the bus, uh, like little bits of trim work and uh, bits and bobs here and there, we've done all the bits. We've videoed the same thing already, haven't we? So, I think this will probably be the last bus video. And, uh yeah. We'll have to find something else to do, won't we? I've got some new video editing software, as you've probably noticed watching this video. Um, and I'm just getting to grips with that. So, beard. Check out the beard. Oh, it's looking pretty good. I like it. It's going to go tonight. I'm not going to wear it to work. Anyway. Anyway, I shall speak to you again at some point or other. So, yeah, bye-bye for now. And uh, see you again at some point.